Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's in my hospital bag video, which was highly requested in my last pregnancy, but I never got a chance to do it. So this time I decided I'm going to film it. And uh, luckily I made it. I am 35 weeks now and um, you know, it's kind of like it could happen anytime at this point. Um, but I really wanted to get this video up for you guys. Um, I know, I think I mentioned it on my channel, probably in a pregnancy vlog, but I did mention that, um, or I think I, I think I mentioned, I don't know why I keep saying I did mention, but I think I mentioned that I wanted to get like a big duffel bag and kind of put everything in there. And I did find the perfect one. I went out and bought it and all of that. But I decided against that because once I packed it, I realized there wasn't very much room in it. And I had to have like stuff for my husband and for the baby. And like after all was said and done, I was probably going to end up with like three bags if I was going to pack things the way I wanted them. So I decided that I would just use a suitcase. That's what I used last time. It was practical. It worked. And I know as a second time mom, a lot of people don't pack a lot of things that they packed the first time. But I feel like I packed basically the same things. Um, I was there last time for three days, including my labor. And it was really nice to have all the stuff that I needed there. Uh, sure, I probably didn't reach for every single item, but I reached for the majority of it. And I kind of wanted just like the comforts of home. I wanted my own towels. I didn't want their like really ratty, like uncomfortable towels. I wanted to bring my shampoo in case if I had a hard labor and needed to wash my hair. Um, and last time I just washed my hair because I felt like it. Um, but I wanted my blow dryer, my straightener, and I wanted to bring my makeup. And I wanted to pack enough stuff for my husband and enough stuff for the baby. And I really didn't want to be... Um, tied down by the amount of space. So that's why I packed the way I did. Some of you might look at this and think it's excessive, but you know what? I'd rather be looking at the stuff than looking for it. And, um, you know, it just kind of worked well for me last time. So I figured why not do the same thing again? Um, also you'll notice some of the products in there you probably wouldn't notice, but some of them aren't the things I use all the time. Like I just have like a general little tiny shampoo bottle and, um, <clears throat> I have some like extra makeup in there that is normally stuff I would leave at the cottage in the summer. And I kind of had purchased that for the summer coming up just to leave there. Um, but I just kind of wanted to have like a makeup bag in there just in case I like go into labor and I'm not home and someone else has to grab the bag for me. But really what my hope is, is to swap out some of the items like come the day of like labor and put in the stuff that I use every day. Like take my actual makeup bag from in here and throw it into my bag and then swap it out with the other one type of thing. So there's a few things that I'll probably be swapping if I get the chance. My shampoo, um, like face wipes, stuff like that. But I want to buy like little travel size of things just so that I'm prepared. And if my husband has to grab it or my in-laws or my parents or something like that, people can grab it quickly and just bring it to me. And I'll have everything I need, even if it's not like my favorite items. So with all know. that said, I'm going to show you guys my huge, well, I guess it's not huge, but my big bag full of stuff. Again, you may think this is more than I need, but um, I want to be comfortable and I want to have all the things I need on hand. If I don't use them, whatever, I'll bring them right back home with me. So it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. All right, so this is what we're working with, this situation right here. This is just uh, the bed in the spare room. So um, I just have everything kind of set out that I need. This is what I'm going to start with, which is my um, my suitcase. So this is what we're working with, a big, big suitcase. It's covered in dog hair. Sorry about that. Um, but if you have a German Shepherd, you know the struggle. <laughs> um, there's nothing in here, but in the front pouch here, I just have some things. Like, this is kind of where I'm throwing things last minute. So like I thought of a charger the other day, so I threw that in. I wanted a lip balm to be easy to grab for um, like when I'm in labor in case I need it. And there's another hair tie in there as well for the same reason. And then I just have a like a little thing of tux pads. This is just in case I get hemorrhoids. I know it's not pleasant, but it's a reality with childbirth. You may get them. So I just wanted to bring a thing of that just in case. So that's what's in the front section. Then we have this. <laughs> so I have tons of stuff. I just started out on the top with two towels. This is just so we have our own towels at the hospital. They provide them, but they're tiny. So I just wanted to bring my own, one for me, one for my husband. Then I just have his clothes right here. I'm not even gonna go through that. It's just sweater, underwear, socks, um, sweatpants, that type of thing. And then in the back section here is just my clothes. And I brought a lot of different things. I wanted to have some variety. Um, I brought those pink pants there, they're sweatpants, a big loose sweater, a um, t-shirt that's good for breastfeeding, as well as my maternity leggings and a big sweater like, that's cozy for in the hospital. And I think at the bottom, I packed some socks, that's the baby stuff. I packed some socks and stuff at the bottom too, and a house coat, that's a house coat right here. So just little things to be cozy in the hospital room. Then back here, I just have two um, swaddle blankets for the baby. This is just a little bag of stuff for me. It's just um, some maternity, or not maternity bras, but um, breastfeeding bras. 
as well as some underwear. I probably won't use these underwear, I'll probably use what the hospital provides, but I want to bring them anyway, just in case. Um, up here is just these cookies. I had these last time when I was in the hospital, so I just kind of want to have something, again, to snack on. So I picked these up, and um, it's just kind of like nostalgic. It brings back memories of when I had Grace, so I thought I'd get them. Um, then back here, this is just a bag of clothes for the baby. I have some zero to three month onesies as well as newborn onesies. Mm -hmm. Just so, like, in case she's a different size. I don't really know what size she'll be, obviously. So, um, you know, I want to be prepared. Uh, so up here, this is just a little bag of toiletries. I have a soap bar in here, some toothpaste, uh, deodorant. It's not my favorite, but I don't know if I'll have a chance to grab my favorite one, depending, like, how labor goes. Um, and then I just have some... Um, Pantene shampoo and conditioner just because I have little samples, but uh, they're not my favorite or anything. Again, it's just whatever I could have in here. I have a razor. There's like the little cartridge thing. Or no, I think I got rid of that. I don't even need this in my bag anymore. I actually got disposables, which you'll see in a second. Um, some tooth floss, just stuff like that. Just boring toiletries. Um, I also got this pack of toothbrushes from Walmart for my husband and I, just so we have something there. Um, this is just a hairspray. Just picked one out of my thing. Um, there's my socks, which should be on the other side. I brought my hairbrush. I brought this. This is just like a pair of Crocs that I can wear in the shower. <laughs> um, I brought dry shampoo, a makeup wipes. Um, these are little like butt wipes for the baby. They, they're stuck together because I peeled the sticker off this Neutrogena thing and now it's sticky. Um, a hairbrush, I got my straightener, my blow dryer, I think, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I have my blow dryer here, and then this InStyler thing, which I use sometimes, and a clump of my hair, apparently. Um, but, but yeah, that's everything in this section of the suitcase. Um, and then if you go up to the top, I packed a bunch of other things. Oh, this is actually laying on top as well, but it must have fallen over. Just a bunch of different feminine products. I brought breast pads, um, nipple cream. I brought some wipes. I don't even think I'll use those, but just in case. Brought my own um, feminine pads just in case, but again, the hospital provides these, so doubt I'll be using them. Then up here in this little zipper part, part here, it's really hard to organize all this stuff. I feel like I have so much. Um, I brought soothers for the baby. I brought um, some Venus Spa disposable razors. Um, this is just makeup, both of these things. Just a little bag of makeup. I'm hoping I can grab my actual makeup bag, but if I can't, this is a bunch of extras that I purchased for the cottage to leave there this summer, so I'll just use that if I have to. Um, I brought a mirror, I brought another hair clip, and then two bars that my husband really likes, um, just so he has some options for snacking as well. So I also just noticed in the top here, I do have a um, my tablet as well, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but just in the top there is the tablet, just in case you want to watch some shows um, during our hospital stay. Yeah, that is everything I brought. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. If you guys can think of something I forgot, please let me know. Um, I'd love to add anything you guys could suggest. But again, I mean, I know I overpacked. I know this is a lot of stuff, but um, I really just don't want to be looking for things. I'd rather have a huge suitcase that I need to carry in and out, you know, like the two times, rather than need something and not have it. So that's what I packed in my hospital bag. So throw all this stuff back in. And um, even though it's a lot of stuff, it does close. <laughs> so that's good. Um, I also packed, or I'm also gonna bring, just a little pack of newborn diapers. Um, but obviously it doesn't fit in there. It's going to be thrown in the car anyway. So I have that. I also have the car seat. We have the base installed in the car. So we'll grab this when we grab the suitcase. And the very last thing that we have <clears throat> is this present here to Grace from her baby sister. I just thought I'd buy one of the gifts for her to open like from her sister, because I've heard that's a good way to introduce the baby to a toddler. And I don't know if she'll grasp it. She is only two. So who knows, but I figured I'd pack it anyway. And you know, it gives us something to do in the hospital room if she's bored or whatever anyway. So hopefully that'll go over well. And then we're also planning to have my mother-in-law and father-in-law take Grace to buy something for the baby while we're in the hospital and then bring it for her. So that is the plan there. But yes, this is everything I'll be bringing with me to the hospital. Yes, it's a lot, but you know, better to be safe than sorry. It happened on a Sunday Outside and the sun was shining that look on your face, oh, it hit me so hard inside when I could.